This little car is described by Nissan as original, assertive and friendly. They also say it's rather clever. Its name, well, as depicted by its rather obvious name tag is Note. And look, Nissan have even put their address at the bottom in case he runs away while we're playing in the park. What a good boy, Dad. Now, you might think that I've gone stark raving mad. And yes, I have to admit that sometimes that's probably not far from the truth. But this little car has been specifically designed to fit in with family life. The Note's mission is to fulfil all the practical needs of a busy young family. And it has as much attitude as a puppy. It's a rebel, a non-conformist designed to appeal to buyers for whom traditional family segment cars are just too conservative. This is actually the 1.6 Ascenter R in Emotion Red. And it does come with a pretty impressive list of standard equipment. This 1.6 is quite lively, reaching a top speed of 114 miles per hour, while delivering an impressive combined fuel consumption of 42.8 miles per gallon. A narrow body and nimble steering make the Note an excellent companion in darkest suburbia. I have to say, this is one of the easiest cars to park that I have ever driven. A little less impressive is the ride, however. It's very firm at slow speeds, and that does mean it does tend to clank over potholes and manhole covers. But that does get better as the speed increases. The reward for this firmness is pretty good high-speed stability, which is welcome in a car with such a high centre of gravity. Now, you remember me saying that the Note was a clever little car? Well, it is. For example, the side lamps have been raised on top of each headlamp so that you can see them when you look down the bonnet. The purpose of this is to make judging the width of the car far easier. And the roof is slowly sloped towards the rear, which increases stability at cruising speed. The Note's interior will be familiar to anybody who drives or has driven a Micra because it has the similar two-tier dashboard system and the switch gear is identical. The Note feels like a much bigger car on the inside than it looks thanks to its clever packaging and incredibly lofty roof lining. I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm not small and I am most certainly not cramped. Four large adults can spread out quite happily across the space in here and there are enough cubby holes and cup holders to swallow all the clutter, so it's pretty well thought out for the family. And I love the passenger glove box. It's ginormous. You could fit tons of stuff in there and it doubles as a fridge. Now that you expect on the expensive top end models, but on something this small, it's something quite special. The backs of the front seats not only house folding trays, but aircraft style expanding pockets for books, magazines, and the myriad of toys collected by children. Another useful feature is the rear bench seat that slides back and forth on runners, allowing you to choose the balance between rear legroom and luggage capacity. And that means that with the seat back, the Note provides enough rear legroom to embarrass an executive saloon. Flexiboarding means that the load area has a false floor which is covered by twin steel frame boards. Lifting either of the boards reveals a secret storage space beneath the boot floor. The entry-level model gets a CD player and front electric windows, but no aircon. The Ascenta will set you back a further £1,000, however it does bring chilled air and additions like alloy wheels and powered rear windows. While the range-topping Techno model will upgrade you to climate control and a six-disc CD multi-changer. But having said all of that, this Ascenta R model is pretty good value for money and a fair compromise in my book. There's a wonderful Bluetooth feature in here which allows you to use your mobile phone with the car's inbuilt hands-free kit. Now that's very clever. The stereo system gives you pretty good audio reproduction and there's an excellent little input for your MP3 player, which is just as well really because this car's brand new and the CD player already seems to be broken. But the best bit about this model is that there are no hidden extras. No options whatsoever. What you see is what you get. 
Everything from the tinted glass to the Bluetooth is included in the price, and that is rare. Now occasionally, the fuel economy figures given on paper can tell a very different story to the way that the car behaves in the real world, and sometimes it can be disappointing to get the car out on the road. This one, however, is brilliant. I've only put £10 in it since I've had the car. I've done lots and lots of miles. It's great. I even like the styling. It's actually very innovative, and I love the rear lights. The only thing being, a friend of mine said to me the other day, looking at the nose of this car, Oh look, you've got a pet frog this week. Now I don't know about you, but I think that's just cruel. It's not the note's fault that it has those clever sticky-up headlamps and a big jolly frog grin. The fact that it has a face like Harry Hill with constipation is down to the designers. Oh, what a nothing this and done to you then, eh? <laughs> Now I do have one subtle gripe about the controls in here, and it's quite simply this little control panel here on the steering wheel. During the day, no problem. But at night, there's no night illumination, so you can't see a thing. Nissan have tried to get around this problem by making the up and down volume buttons one convex and one concave, so you can feel which is which. But that doesn't help you with the source button, the information button, or the phone button. And that's a bit of a letdown for such a well thought out car. Now I usually dislike small cars. I don't like the way that they bounce over the road and I don't like the cramped conditions. So super minis aren't really my thing and I really wanted desperately to dislike this car. But I can't. He's just too lovable, aren't you? You were. <laughs> Nissan say that you'll want to welcome the Note as a new addition to your family, and I wouldn't disagree with them. It may not be fast, it may not be huge, and it may sometimes resemble a frog. But my whole family loved it, and that's what counts. In fact, I can see how you could quite easily grow attached to it. Just remember, though, that when all is said and done, this new addition to your family is still a car and not a dog. You'll go dizzy if you let it chase its tail, and remember to get out of the way if you decide to play fetch with it. Here, boy. Here, boy. Come on, boy. Ooh. Down, boy. Down, boy. Down, boy. Down, boy.